Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Kansas Moonshot Podcast, where we are shining the spotlight on amazing things happening in schools across the state. Whether you're one of the Mercury, Gemini, or Apollo schools launching some amazing redesign plans, or a teacher trying to do something a little different, I want to share your story. The goal is to celebrate the awesomeness all around us. Hi guys, welcome to the latest episode. How are you doing? I hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're doing well. Reach out to me if there's anything I can do to help out. My topic for this week's episode is something I'm wrestling with right now. My question is, I know we're grappling with this continuous learning plan. We're grappling with how to handle this year. But we're in the point of the year where if this was any regular school year, we would be planning for next year. We would be starting conversations of what does redesign look like for next year. We would be surveying our staff on changes we want to implement, things we want to pilot for next year, how do we want to wrap up the year. And it feels weird to do that right now. So my real question right now is, when is a good time to start thinking about this coming year? Now, I know there are a lot of variables we don't know about. There are a lot of things that we can't control. We don't know what this coming school year is going to look like. But at a certain point, we got to start thinking about if we go back to school like normal in the fall, what will that look like? What are some ways we're going to redesign in the fall? Because school is going to continue on. And I would rather start having those conversations now and have to adapt in the fall than to start the conversations fresh in the fall and have to hit everything on the ground running. So what this has really brought up to me are a couple of things that I'm really looking at for next year. And a lot of it connects to what we're doing right now. Right now, I know there are a lot of districts in the state that are doing some incredible things with blended learning. Now, if you're not familiar with blended learning, blended learning is, if you've heard of flipped learning, Blended learning is like a combination of regular in-class learning and flipped learning combined together. Blended learning is when you have opportunities for students to work at their own pace. You have opportunities where students are learning in class. You have, uh, you know, you're implementing a lot of video strategies. You're using hyperdocs. You're using a lot of different tools to try to get kids multiple opportunities to access the content at their own pace, at their own time period but also having those in-class discussions. It's all of the best of all these different worlds. And this continuous learning, these opportunities for students to learn at home has really got me thinking about what could that look like during a regular school year? How are some, what are some ways that I as a teacher can give my students more choice, give my students some more self-paced lessons so that if they have to do more learning at home, how can I better prepare them and how can I use these strategies in the classroom? A couple of weeks ago, I was fortunate to be a part of the Ed Camp Johnson County. And one of the sessions I attended was all about the grid method. And if you're not familiar with the grid method and the Teach Better team, uh, the grid method is basically you give level one assignments, level one tasks for students to, to try to conquer. Then you give them level two tasks, level three tasks, and students are working their way through the different levels of content at their own pace. And I'm trying to think of ways that I can implement that in my own classroom. So for me personally, that is my redesign of my classroom next year, is I want to see how many moments I can give my students to have self-paced lessons. Now, we're going to have some building leadership team meetings coming up in... Uh, this upcoming week. And I'm really curious to see where everybody else is at in the process. Are people still wrestling with this year? Which I know there are a lot of people wrestling with this year. But I want to know, when are people ready to start having conversations about next year? And it's a tricky subject. I know some people are not at that point yet. And I'm okay with that. And I support you if you are not at that moment yet. But I am. I, that, that's where I'm at right now is I'm ready to start looking forward I'm ready to start looking at what can next year look like. Now, I'm trying something new with a podcast this week. Uh, I've set up a website. Uh, it's called, 
let me make sure I don't say it in So it's called speakpipe.com. And basically what speakpipe is, is it is a way for people to call in and actually leave voice messages for me so I can include those in the podcast. Um, I've been asking around to different podcasters I know, and this is the one they recommend. Um, and basically what it does is you just go to this website. So if you go to speakpipe.com slash Kansas Moonshot, you can actually leave a voice message for me and I can incorporate that into the show. So I would love for people to try it out. Leave me a message. I want to know, my question is, is at what point do you think you are going to be ready to start talking about next year? Is this something you, you feel like you guys are ready to start having those conversations now? Is it something that you feel like your school isn't ready and you won't be ready until later on the summer? Is it something that has already been going on? So I want to know my question this week, and my goal is for each episode, I'm going to have a question for question of the week for you guys to respond to. Uh, if you record this, please keep in mind that my goal is to put these on the show. So if you're calling in, just know that it might end up in a future episode. So if you could, just leave your name and also what school and district you're in so I can give a shout out to your school and district as well. So that is speakpipe.com slash Kansas Moonshot. Uh, the description is also in the show notes for that website so that you can leave a voice message. I'm curious to see how this goes. Um, I'm curious to see how I can get more voices on the show because that's ultimately my goal is I want to get more voices on the show. On that note, I would also like to hear how your continuous learning plans are going. What are some successes? What are some things that you're still struggling with? And so if you are a part of the team developing your district's uh, continuous learning plan, and you would like to be on the show, please send me an email or reach out to me on Twitter at teach like a ninja or teach like a ninja at gmail.com. Please contact me because I would love to have a Zoom session and just record an episode with you, just talking through what's your plan um, so we can all learn together through this experience. So that is it for this episode. Um, I do have one final note. Um, I'm excited. My book comes out in about six weeks, uh, first week in June will be the release of Awesome Sauce. Uh, you can find the uh, information on that at ISTE's website. Um, you can also find it at any other book publisher, uh, book website, Barnes & Noble, all those all those book retailers. Um, but definitely check out ISTE's book website for Awesome Sauce. Uh, my book is all about using video in the classroom. And that's really this passion for blended learning is really marrying well with my love of video production and video in the classroom and how to get kids engaged in content using video strategies. So if you're looking for a great resource of different strategies you can use with video, check out Awesome Sauce. Um, that'll be out in June. Pre-orders are available now. So that is it for this episode. I hope you are doing, um, doing okay, but reach out to me if you're not. If you need to have a talk, uh, if you need some support, if there's anything I can do to help out, um, video content is kind of my specialty. So if you need any help with any, uh, video resources, I'd love to share them out, send them out. Um, I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a great end of the semester. Um, that's all I've got for this episode. Talk to you later. Bye guys. For more information about this episode, check out my website, mrstockrocks.com. If you know someone doing something awesome in their classroom, let me know about it. I'd love to have them on the show. You can email me at teachlikeaninja at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at teachlikeaninja. I've been your host, Josh Stock, 6th grade language arts teacher and self-proclaimed awesomeness expert. Until next time, book it forward and be awesome.